This is Ryan Gem with SAE International here at the Analfa Roof Systems booth at the SAE 2011 World Congress. Joining me today is Glenn Holtz, Vice President of Technology for Analfa Roof Systems USA. Now you have on display here a solar panel sunroof system. Could you talk a little bit about this technology and what makes it so unique? Yes, the, uh, the theme for this year, of course, is charging forward together. So an alpha roof system is a global supplier of sunroof systems for all of the major OEMs around the globe. And one of our new products that we're working on for the future is how do we integrate more technology into our sunroofs going forward? Solar cells are a natural fit for the sunroof because it's located on top of the vehicle, which provides maximum exposure to the uh, sunlight. In regards to the current technology, uh, there are major efficiency gains that still need to be made in order to make them readily available and commercially available for a mass-produced vehicle. But they are feasible today. You can see an example of one right here. In fact, it, uh, just from the natural light in the room here, from the, from the lights, it is uh, powering this LED light that's in the Alpha Roof System logo here. And there, there's really three different technologies that are being developed in regards to solar panels. One is a monocrystalline structure, uh, second one is a polycrystalline structure, and the third one is a thin film technology or amorphous technology of which this is an example of. Right now some of the hurdles are the overall efficiency. The solar cells of today require a lot of power to convert the sun's energy into electricity. So until some of those hurdles can be overcome, to make the solar cells more efficient and get a smaller size of the solar cell, the output will be limited for a period of time. Okay. And what types of vehicles do you foresee this being popular on? Is it solely passenger vehicles or does it go to commercial vehicles as well? Can you talk yeah. a bit about that? Yeah, that's a good question, Ryan. And, and in reality, solar cells could be applied to any vehicle, whether it's a passenger car, a light truck, it uh, could be in commercial vehicles. You could think of large semis that have a much larger roof structure where you have the capacity to put more solar cells, if you will. It could be agricultural. You know, you think of a, a farm tractor out in the middle of a field with really no buildings or shade, if you will. Um, so the, the applications are endless in regards to transportation-type vehicles. There, there's a number of different things that can be powered in the vehicle. One is uh, lighting, such as LED lighting. Another one potentially is like this solar panel behind us on the wall, which is actually powering this vent fan. So if you think of a vehicle that sits in the sun all day, it gets really hot in the vehicle. Uh, with an integrated technology, you could actually vent the sunroof and then through a powered van, pull air through the vehicle so that you lower the initial temperature of the vehicle. Then when you and I get in as consumers and we start the car, turn on the air conditioning, the car is already at a lower heat load, so therefore the air conditioning system can be downsized. And from that, the engine doesn't have as much parasitic loss and therefore increased fuel economy and a lower carbon footprint. This is Ryan Gam reporting from the SAE 2011 World Congress.